Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wish where we're gonna continue with Forgotten Ruins. Yeah. Okay, let me leave my mouse over here. Just in case. I need to get down with some overdrive. Is this a pyramid? Looks like it is. Overdrive, hell yeah. See, what gets me with these levels is like the tight, narrow spaces jam-packed with enemies. That's what's the... That's what's not cool. Oh shit. Alright, time to concentrate. I don't know what the point of these things are. I mean, they have a lot of health and, and such, but they only shoot like one thing, so what's the point? I guess to get in my way. Something tells me I want to go up here. Hmm. Looks like I was right. Monolith, huh? Another monolith? That's like the eyeball thing, right? Oh shit, no. Uh, this might take a while. Oh shit. No, no, no. Crap, man. Maybe if I just stay... Like in the middle. You know, spread would probably be good here. Yeah, that's, that's way better. Spread, you are a godsend. There we go. I don't even have to use my overdrive. Alright, let's see. As outlined in the plan, I followed the firebolt's movements outside of the same sensor range. Fortunately, it seemed true that Neferbedi no longer considered anything a threat, as her defenses were kept to a minimum. I studied the firebolt for hours, figuring out their weapon systems and capabilities. And then it happened. It was as almost surreal it was almost surreal to me. But I watched as a figure emerged from the firebolt's launch bay. Neferetti herself, donning no protective gear, floating away from her ship like a red ghost. I watched Neferetti float away towards the sun until she was out of range of her ship. It was then I fired on her. Uh, I forgot her voice. Watch this! The little moth comes back to the flame once more. My shot simply bent around her, 
going right past her. Shut it. I know what you are. I can take you out from here. I see the little Digini of yours must have told you about me. You know about Ginny? Of course. Our seething hatred of each other lets us feel each other's presence. I find it odd that she never told you about me until now. Hopefully you didn't do something foolish like hand her all your star pieces. Wuh? Your expression tells all. I shall fill you in on the little details she may have left out. The gene used Chasm and what? Gully to achieve their goals. Oh, Charm and Gil. The gene would no doubt take your star pieces and use them to confront me in our everlasting blood war. Jenny's not like that. She doesn't care about petty revenge wars. Or any petty revenge or war. Did she sweet talk her way into staying on your ship? Did she personally ask you ask to hold on to the star fragment? That's she just wanted to protect the crew. As a Dejini. De genie. Her primary goal is to put an end to me. Of course, she can't do anything to me. I'm far too strong for her now. If I take you out here, Dean doesn't need to come for you, does she? You are welcome to try. Your actions are no longer relevant to me. Why you? I fired a huge salvo against the unarmed Meferetti. But amidst the debris, her red presence stood unscathed. As I stated before, I will leave you alone if you escape. I already have what I need. I can't let you get away with all the blood you've shed. I fired another salvo directly at her, but this time she halted my gunfire around her, freezing it in place. I'd never seen anything even remotely like this. Even without her ship, she was uncannily powerful. Do not try my patience, Mr. Deuce. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I could blink with a snap, she released a horrendous spherical flame wave. The waves are right through my shield. The waves went through, went right through my shields, my armor, and ultimately me. The flames burned my body as they passed through, sending searing pain through every nerve. I have consumed all your oxygen and leaked all your air. Do not waste your breath. Even the genie can't save you now, without the presence of air. You should treasure your life instead of throwing it away. Unable to breathe, I could not reply. I tried to utter help, but I knew it would it would reach no one. I began to lose consciousness as I watched her fly off towards Enigma's blinding sun. And thus my life was over! But it would seem that fate had other plans for me. Deuce! Please wake up, Mr. Deuce. He's still breathing and has a pulse, but his heart rate is through the roof. His skin is turning blue. He suffered from severe as asphyxi as as asphyxiation. The burns are minor, thankfully, but he's chromatose. chromatose. Guinea. Can't you do that magic of yours to heal him? It is not that simple. It is far easier to destroy than it is to repair. Force cell regeneration is a keen to surgery with a claymore. It is difficult to focus such vast energies for something like this. If I had more star fragments, I could do more precise restora restoration. Is, is there nothing you can do, Miss Tessa? I don't know if he'll even make it through the night. I I believe there is something I can do. I cannot heal him directly, but I am able to share some of my life energy with him. Your life energy? It is difficult to describe, but think of it as shortening my life to extend his. Alright. I'm sorry, I can't allow that. Anything that would bring harm to either of you is against principle. Do not worry. I have done it before, and unless I am mistaken, you would be do the same in my position, would you not? I I don't want to admit it, but yeah, I would probably do it in a heartbeat. I am sorry, Mr. Deuce. You were gravely injured because I could not save you. 
so please awaken again. Whoa! Are those feathers of light? Uh, uh. Where am I? Is this sick bay? D Deuce, you're up already? Y yeah, how did I get here? You idiot. What were you thinking trying to take out Neferati by yourself? I I saw the opportunity to strike her without the fireball backing her up, but I couldn't do a thing to her. She was stunned everything I threw at her without any protection w Ugh, excuse me, whatsoever. Did it not occur to you that every pirate lord also under also underestimated her and met a grisly end? Yeah, sorry about that. It won't happen again. Mary tracked you down and hauled your ship here in record speed. Be sure to give your thanks when you give when you get the chance. Yeah, I'll do that. How long was I out for? Several hours, Deuce. Don't push yourself. Or, several hours, Deuce. Don't push yourself. I know, you always say that. Well, looks like your vital signs are normal. It really is a miracle you recovered so quickly. I know I always say this too, but don't scare me like that. Yeah, thanks Tessa. I'm gonna get going. Sure. Ginny, are you sure you don't want to tell him what you did? Master Deuce, I am very disappointed in you. Oh man, thanks for saving me. What I have been trying to teach you all this time. I know you wanted me to run in the face of an insurmountable foe. But this was different. Neferetti was alone, and I didn't think she'd be that strong. He logged show you filed multiple times. He mu you just kept farming like an idiot. Neferetti would have let you go the moment you decided to run. She doesn't care to waste time on you. Alright. I'm sorry. Do not apologize to me. Your actions cost someone else much more than it costs you. With that, Mer left. Oh, Deuce, we got trouble, mate. Huh? What's wrong? Seems our little star engineer has taken flight. What? Ginny's gone? Who authorized her escape? No one. She simply opened up the hatch and flew out there without a suit. Rather impressive looking, I might add. <laughs> Look, he's smiling. This isn't good. She still has all of our star fragments. Star fragments? Alright, you weren't here yesterday. I'll tell you later. Ginny. Ginny must be thinking about confronting Neferetti. That idiot Neferetti was right after all. Ginny's out for revenge. What is she thinking? She'll be killed. And then Neferetti will have all seven star fragments. Or all seven fragments. We're setting a course to get that full back. Kind of funny hearing that from you. What the hell? But I still have to go to the icicle cavern? Okay. That's weird. Okay, so let's uh let's do some stuff. Uh weapons. Stand back, hun. That's a long cannon if I ever saw one. <laughs> Careful about this one, it's dangerous on several levels. Yeah, I can't say the whole team standing on edge of the wall leaves me feeling comfortable. This is the wave cannon that you asked me to work on. They're styled after Mare's Vortex cannons. The wave cannon fires off a super dense neutron beam in a wave-like pattern. The beam may look like it's passing through matter, but it in fact punching a hole straight through it effortlessly. This beam will therefore fire right through solid objects. Handy, no? No offense, but you look way too happy. Oh ho ho ho. Forget it. She's in her own world again. Okay. A wave cannon, huh? Let's buy that shit. That sounds awesome. Buy it. it looks like I, I could only buy that one. Um, uh, I think that's all I want to buy. I don't really use the other ones. 
Wait, am I using V-bombs? I don't even know. Uh, let's go to the hangar. Uh, let's buy some modules. There we go. Five modules. Uh, let's do this to the max, that to the max. Let's put one here. I want a Moolah mod. And how about a regen mod? That sounds good. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go to the cafe. Ooh, we could talk to hella people. I'm going to talk to Deadeye. Over in the corner, I could see Deadeye sitting restlessly. If I didn't know better, I'd say she was trying to hide something. Hey there, Deadeye. To Deuce, what brings you here? She wasn't even looking at me. Deadeye, what's wrong? Pardon? You're looking all over the place. Are you checking something out? Oh, never mind me. I'm spacing out. No, you look like you're really lost. I'm alright, really. Deadeye, it looks kind of serious. I think I'm going to take you to sick bay. N no, please don't. I will be fine. I don't care. We should have Tessa take a look anyway. Deadeye suddenly grabbed my sleeve, stopping me. D Deadeye? I don't want to go. If you want, I can bring Tessa here instead. No, just please give me some time and I'll be fine. If you insist, but you can tell me any tell me if anything's wrong. Maybe maybe next time, hun. I'm holding you to that. I wonder what was that all about? That I seriously looked like she was having problems. I hope she will be alright. I hoped she was alright. Okay. Uh, let's talk to Swig. I don't really want to talk to Tessa. I talked to her enough today. Hey, Swig! What is troubling you, young grasshopper? Something I'd always wanted to ask you. Why did you take me and Tessa in after Tessa's parents died? I'm her godfather. It's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I didn't realize that. So you knew Tessa's parents well? Yeah. They were among my best friends. Good people, but busy all the time. So I ended up taking care of you guys. Why were you on the research station though? I was there on business. I didn't really get anything useful though. Fortunately, Tessa's dad and I were able to bring you guys onto the ship. Onto this ship. Do you ever regretting taking us in? You want the truth? Yeah. Yes. I do have my regrets. I basically sealed your fate to become pirates. You might have been able to live a, c a civilian life had I not interfered. And maybe Tessa's dad could have lived and said, instead of being caught in a core breach all those years ago. No, don't blame yourself. We all wanted to stay here. I rather like it here. Me too, but... I don't like seeing you guys having to struggle or run for your lives. Did Tessa and I ever get on your nerves? We fought a lot and got into all sorts of trouble. Huh. I always thought you two were playing. Proves how much you two care for each other. Pfft, yeah, right. No need to hide your feelings, friend. You and Tessa have always watched over each other. It is nothing to be ashamed of. You two are all I have left. So don't do anything too hard on this old man. Thanks, Wig. I feel better talking to you. It's what I'm here for. Drink? I'm still on duty. <laughs> Alright. Now let's check our status. Uh, let's do two for these. Um... Uh, Two offense, two... Yeah, just two for everything, pretty much. That looks pretty good. Oh, Moolah boost, what? Gun percent. 
Hmm. All right. All right, guys. So next time we'll do Icicle Cavern. All right. I'll see you guys later.